G'day, we're here at the home of the Tuning Fork, Yamaha Motor Australia in Sydney, uh, to do a bit of a review. Lukey Luke, uh, we've been talking on the way over about uh, what we might be getting. What are your thoughts? Uh, R1, VMAX, I'd be happy with either. Yeah, happy days, <laughs> FJ. But look, to find out, to reveal all, we have the Communications Manager from Yamaha Motor Australia, Sean Goldhawk. Sean? G'day, hey, guys. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to Yamaha Motor Australia. So, VMAX R1, FJ, Bolt, um, yeah. Well, it's something a little bit different. I've got Apple Motor. Well, no, not a generator, <laughs> not a golf car. Something a little bit different. You'll love it. All right, all right. Let's all hang around in the foyer for hours. No, let's go. Check. Sounds like VMAX. Let's go. Let's hit it. <laughs> Sean. You said sounds like, mate, this looks like a VMAX. It sounds like I'm not on about exhaust. No, just wait there a minute. I'm all over this, Reg. Oh, man, I've been studying rockology. I'm going to win this rock off. 100% lose ratio, my uh, man. I plan uh, on keeping uh, my winning streak. No, yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, what here is you go, that? guys. What have we done? <laughs> mate, uh, see what I have done? VMAX, T Max. It's the old T-Max bait and switch. It may look like a scooter, but does it go like a V-Max? It goes like a cut cat, mate. Fully aluminium chassis, swing arm, so it has all the features of a motorcycle, but it has all the convenience of a scooter. Let's get this thing around the track. Yeah, yeah well, I can't help but notice, Sean, there's two of us, uh, one of the T-Max. Where's the other one hiding, buddy? It does have a pillion seat. You squeeze me. <laughs> oh, you want no, you squeeze me, because I don't do too well. I will squeeze you like an orange, brother. <laughs> um, okay, so we suppose we rock off to see who gets to ride uh, in behind, and who's up front? I hope I keep my winning streak here. I win, I'll again. I'll be over in the corner having a look. It's 100%. And I don't need any, I don't need to see any squeezing right here. It's 100%. <laughs> I'm going to keep my visor down, so people don't recognise me. <laughs> it is quite stable too up and it doesn't really restrict the power too much. Two men, two up on a scooter. My ribs are sore. That's because I was squeezing you like a lemon. Have a coffee. Oh, I want to kiss the ground first. <laughs> so what'd you think? Hey, it's um it's a nice bike. I was surprised. You know, it's long, it's big, it looks heavy. You're talking about the bike, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what about Solo? Uh, no, nah, look, Solo was quite impressed, you know. But I found it to be quite nimble, actually, like for the city. You know, I picture suits riding it and, and, you know, possibly women and, you know, maybe people that aren't confident on motorcycles. So it's quite nice to know that the, the bike's not too rude. I just can't understand why they don't sell more of them in this country. You go to Europe and you can't spit in the street without hitting a scooter. They're everywhere. And for good reason too, they make sense in the city. It's got the parallel twin 530cc engine and it actually has a, a dummy cylinder pointing back which acts as a counterbalancer so there's not too many vibrations. The footboards are nice and comfortable. You've got no problems at all with regards stopping on a hill because there's a nifty little handbrake and the swing arm is a proper motorcycle swing arm. It's got a big rear hoop actually from behind it almost. It looks like good. Bike, it's it? like got this fat tire that you'd yeah. expect to see on a sports bike and yet it's on a scooter. <laughs> At 530 cc's it's going to sit on a buck 10 on the freeway happy as Larry all day yep. and get pretty good mileage out of it too so. Happy in the brakes too. Yeah ABS works well. Yeah. From a pillion's perspective it's always interesting I very 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 rarely get on the back of a bike these days um, but it's nice you could see over the top of your head. We didn't do the headbutt thing all the way down. Yeah, that comes back to you being stiff as a board again. Uh, you see, <laughs> that's not, that's all untrue. So that was the Yamaha T-Max. I'm pretty happy to call it the Mini V-Max. <laughs> uh, nice call, yeah. Um, from disappointment with missing out on the V-Max to absolute acceptance of what yeah. is a legitimate motorcycling choice, the T-Max. There you have it. You can pick up accessories too, the little apron thing, the top box. But, you know, you know what you're getting with it. It's a nice little bit of kit. For all your motorcycle insurance needs, visit swanmotorcycle.com.au.